Hi there Cancer, I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now as I've said to you many times, that anything to do with the moon affects you, uh, you know, more intensely and, and you know, at a, a deeper level than a lot of the star signs because you're ruled by the moon and because the moon is emotional uh, and it's feelings and very in, intuitive and right now there's a solar eclipse, a new moon sitting in the sign before you, so the solar um, 12th house, actually on the cusp of your soul, 11th and the 12th house or so. Um, and you also have Venus sitting in that area as well, but let's come back to that. So firstly, this is the time where it's good for you to gain clarity of what you what you want to do. Um, I mean, you this year very much is about you your career and very much about you doing what you love to do okay so you know when you're making career decisions and there seems to be some movement in that area coming up for you um, you want to make sure that the decisions are right decisions for you I mean and even if they don't if they're not exactly what your heart's desire is or your dreams are you want to be able to see a common link of where the the things, people, situations that you allow into your work play some part, no matter how small, but some part in your life that's going to lead you on the path that you want to be on and, and where you want to end up, you know. I mean, of course, you know, there never is really an end. You know, life really is a journey. As, as soon as we um, accomplish one thing, then... You know, we set another goal and we move on to another. So right now, I feel for cancer, you're really formulating um, what what your goals are, what your heartfelt goals are. You know, where you really where you really want to be, what you're committed at a passionate heart level, and that's important because anything that has your heart involved in it that you feel passionate about is going to stick. Okay, so. Um, now let's have a look at um, your relationships. Of Venus sitting in that area we were just talking about, and there is a connection between Venus and Pluto. Now Pluto is sitting in your in your area of relationships. The solar seventh house has been for some time now, and will be for some time. Uh, but of course, it's the interaction that Pluto has with other planets which will determine what's going on in the area of relationships and partnerships with you. So, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, it's a positive connection with Venus, but let's not forget that Venus is still retrograde, okay? So, um, I would be, you know, firstly, be careful about who you tell what. Secondly, when you are sure that you, you are, inner feelings or your vulnerabilities are not going to be taken the wrong way or used against you in any way and that is the time that you need to be open with someone so it's like have a little bit of reserve first until you assure that um, the people that you're with really are on the same page they really do want the very best for you and that is the time to sort of you know, to let your, your vulnerabilities out and we all are vulnerable at some level and, you know, to tell somebody how you really feel and think, it, you know, inside, it, you know, that can open you up and particularly your cancer because you're such a sensitive um, sign, a water sign. You're also a cardinal sign so um, you like to, you know, get out there and initiate things and, um you know, you're action oriented in that way. So um, let's have a look and see what else is happening. Um, now, Mars also has a connection with Pluto, and Mars, of course, is the planet of passion. So you've got Mars and Venus both having uh, positive connections there with Pluto. So it's a, it's a really like almost a make it or break it time when, when it's with. Pluto. So if something's not working, Pluto can sort of, you know, break it down because they're um, softer aspects, then the breakdown's not going to be heart-wrenching. Uh, it's, um, it's like, well, you know, that's the best thing that can happen right now. 
or you can build it up more so it depends on where you are with your relationships okay but the one thing that comes through when Pluto is concerned you want to be upfront and honest and um, not play any games all right how you if you're in there playing some uh, some games it's going to fall apart on you so uh, and al and also if you don't know exactly you know what you want to do then fine say that say you know what I just need a little more time to think about that and take it have a great week, Cancer. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.